Good evening boys and girls. It's time for another bedtime book review and this month I, I don't have the baby here with me um, because she's gonna try to flip through these pages like crazy. She loves this book and it is so cute. Um, this is Captain America, an origin story. I got this from the library. I was just um, standing in the children's section watching her play with the toys. I saw this on a shelf. It may have been shelved wrong also because it was sort of like on the edge of the shelf. Um, and I just thought, oh, that's cute. Little Marvel story. And I looked at it. I was like, oh, yeah, it's a kid's book. Okay. Um, it doesn't look too long or involved. So we can read this at bedtime. Let's pick this up. Um, so, like, she picked out a couple books to check out and I picked out this one. But this is the one that she loves so much and she keeps asking us to read it for her. Um, whenever she picks out a bedtime story, it's been this one. So I feel like I might need to get a copy of it for ourselves because it's just uh, checked out from the library right now. But this is just a really cute little story. Um, I don't think I'm going to read the whole thing to you this time because it's a little bit longer, not much longer, and I feel like it's just begging for a copyright ding if I keep just reading the whole story to you every single time. But um, my understanding is that there is a series of these. I have not gone to marvelkids.com to see what's there. I was just looking and they have that website on the back. Um, I saw a couple that are on Amazon. I saw The Hulk. I saw Thor, uh, Spider-Man, Captain America, uh, sorry, and uh, Iron Man I saw. So there's like, it's a whole series and they're these little kids books about superheroes and what makes this so great is it's like a very um, accessible like way to tell the story um, to little kids. So I'll just kind of start, you see here it starts way back you know pre-colonial it says um, the a peaceful little island sat right off the mainland of a place that was called different things by all the different nations of people who lived there. So it's uh, very accessible talking about, you know, the island of Manhattan for kids who don't know what New York is. And it's like, um, yeah, they called the old world, they came, people came from all over. And so it's showing, you know, New York evolving over time from the Native Americans through the colonials, the colonists and through to the 1940s. And then it says that, um, you know, there, there was a, a war that threatened the whole world and Steve Rogers was a patriot who wanted to be a soldier and so it shows the whole story of how he went to, you know, have his physical done and instead was enlisted for Project Rebirth. And then it tells the story of how he was brought to a secret lab, injected with the serum, And then, um, but before Steve, General Phillips, or anyone else in the lab could notice, an enemy spy who had been working the lab attacked! He did not want the Americans to have such power. The doctor was hurt and unable to duplicate the serum. But Steve, in his new super soldier body, was safe, and he was angry. So it's just like a really accessible way to tell the story. And it talks about, it keeps going, it keeps talking about how he goes to war, how he's fighting, um, you know, on all fronts, and how he's still, you know, a clumsy private in his private life. So um, my understanding, and the other books in the series are the same, that it bases it off of the uh, comic book chronology and not off the MCU. So I think that if you're a, a purist, then you would enjoy that. And I think the art style is also really nice. Okay, I'm not. Um, an expert on the comic book chronology, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this mention of the Civil War here might have something to do with the, um, the Marvel series of the same name, but I don't know. In any case, I just think it's really cute, and it's especially adorable how much my 16 month old just really likes this book. Um, um, I'm trying to teach her that, this, you know, his name is Cap, and she can say it if I ask her to, but, um, she just calls this book. When she says book, she means this one. So I just wanted to share these with you. I'm gonna, um, link this on Amazon below, because I was able to find it, um, and then I'll check out if this marvelkids.com website is still good. 
I'll put a link to that as well to all the different versions, uh, the different stories in this series um, because I definitely will want to check out some more of those and possibly invest in a couple of them for our permanent collection. So thank you guys for watching. I think this one was a little shorter than usual um, because I didn't read the whole thing. But as always, if you have any bed, uh, bedtime book suggestions you think that I should review in this series, leave those down below. I'm always on the lookout for new bedtime stories. And um, I will definitely be coming back with another one of these next month. So I'll see you then. Bye.